Hi guys, hello and welcome to a Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn why should we use try catch blocks. Many a time, students learn about try catch block without understanding why should we use them. For example, let's have a look at this statement. In this example, I have a statement in which I am dividing a number by zero. What happens when I run this program is that the program errors out because whenever you try to divide a number by zero, computer cannot handle it, so it throws an error message and you are thrown outside of the code. However, if I write the same piece of code in a try catch block, what try catch block will do when an error occurs in a try block, it will pass the error to the catch block and catch block will handle the error and you will still stay in the application and the application will not fail. For example, if I have another statement right here, now if I run it again, you will notice that the error occurs and the app is still running is never displayed. However, if I put this in a try block, followed by a catch block, and rerun this application, you will notice that the program will handle the problem locally without crashing and will also display the message app is still running from line number 11. So that is why using a try catch block is so beneficial because it lets you handle the problem locally within the program, doesn't let the program crash, and then you can continue with the rest of the application. The only thing that you have to remember once you are outside of the try in the catch block, there is no way for you to go back to the try block because it's not a loop. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and it would have helped you understand why we use try catch blocks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.